with you. I'm in love with Jesus. Cause he first fell in love with me. With me. Seeing for me. You are God all by yourself. That you gave your life that I believe. I'm falling in love with you. With you. I'm in love with Jesus. Does he first fell in love with me? With me. Stand for me. You are God all by yourself. And you give your life that I'm daily. to come online uh, before we kick off the program. You're welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome. You're welcome. When you come, just say hi, 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 hi. So I can see everyone. Thank you for coming on. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Jesus, I'm deeply in, in love with me. With me, with me, with me. With me, with me. With me. I welcome you. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. I greet you. I greet you. You are welcome. You are welcome. So today's edition, Stop Clinic with Dr. Lee. <laughs> welcome, 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 welcome. I welcome you all. I welcome you all. I welcome you. I welcome you. I welcome you. I welcome you. Ego divine. I welcome you. Hey, good afternoon. I greet you, ma. You're welcome. You're welcome. After Monday, I see you. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. I welcome you all. I welcome you all. Thank you. Hey, Pastor Joe, I see you, sir. My own husband. I greet you, sir. <laughs> hey, Mama. Mama, you today are God bless you, ma. I greet you. Thank you for joining in. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for joining in. Hey, oh ye, hey, Halima Vicky, my personal person, I greet you. Today has plenty to plenty to talk about. I welcome you all. I welcome you all. I just have one more, two, about two minutes more, so that we can keep up the program today. I want more people to come in. All right, all right, I'm seeing you all. I'm seeing you all, David Monkey. I greet you. Sola, I greet you. I greet you. I greet you. If I mix, if I mix it, I'm sorry for me. I'm, you know, I'm speaking from two ends. I'm on Instagram and I'm on Facebook as well. So at one point, if I'm not able to mention you, please forgive me. It's not intentional. I welcome you all. I show you how you know. Ah, I welcome you, sir. I greet you. You are welcome, sir. Hey, my personal person. Atiolua Kebi, I greet you, man. You are welcome, man. I'm so, so happy to have you all joining in. Hey, Comrade Victor, I greet you, sir. I greet you, sir. You are welcome. You are welcome. All right, all right. I want to welcome you all to this um, to this uh, wonderful edition of today's um, uh, Love Clinic with, me, with Dr. Lee. With Dr. Lee, I want to welcome you all. 
um, Monday was so interesting. It was so powerful um, that a lot of messages, you know, has been coming in. I don't know how many I'll be able to treat today, but I'm going to paint a picture, not just a picture, somebody's story, you know, and the person is online waiting to hear uh, what we feel about it, what, what you feel about it. And so for those of us on Instagram, um, if you want to share, you want to answer, or you don't, you want to speak, want me to hear your voice, please, you can also ask me to, um, you know, bring you in so that I can hear your own part of it. And on Facebook, please go ahead, drop your messages. The people involved are watching and they want to hear what we feel about it. It's, it's lockdown. It's, uh, some people say it's semi-lockdown. Some people say it's a minor lockdown, whatever it is. A quite a number of us are not being able to do anything but say a lot of us are home some people i i i really 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 uh, feel your pain those of us that um your offices have asked you to stay at home pending when they are able to call you back i honestly feel your pain and i can only ask that God himself will show up for you in these times. And also, I want to use this opportunity. I've been seeing a lot of messages in my inbox, a lot asking for help. I wish I can help you all. I wish I have all the resources to help everyone. But you see, the amazing thing is I can't help everyone. I've, I'm, I'm exhausted. That's the only way I can describe it. You know, at this point, I really cannot help everybody. But just be rest assured that if I cannot reach you, I honestly am praying that God will send you help. God will send you people that will show up for you in these times in the name of Jesus. All right, let me quickly run, uh, run through. Uh, I have two cases in my hand. One of it, and I want you to please, I beg you, please, please, please give us what you think. Whatever your suggestion is, whatever your opinion is, Please, it counts. Somebody needs your help. Somebody needs to go ahead. Somebody needs to make a decision. Please, I beg you, be quick to drop your your what you feel about it. Now, there is this lady. Um, I won't mention anybody's name. Like I said, they are watching also, waiting to hear what you feel about it. Now, she she has a husband. Yes, she has a husband, and um, this her husband. It's, uh, they've been married for some time now, okay? And the woman, her father has a company, a company, a big company, doing very well. Now, the father has an uncle, that's her own uncle, working in that company. Now, it happened that the, the lady's father died, okay? And when the man, when the man left, the family of the wife, decided that since the uncle has been working in that company and he has been doing well so the children of the demised agreed and said let this woman that's the person who needs our help now let the husband you know since since the uncle so the uncle also said okay since your husband is here bring your husband let your husband come and work in the same company and so they've been working together that is the the lady's husband joined her father's company so they've been working together and no issues now it happened that hey reverend gideon i greet you sir god bless you thank you for joining so it happened that um the uncle now wants to retire the uncle now wants to retire and the uncle is suggesting now that her own husband, that is the woman who is asking for a suggestion now, is now saying that since your husband is working in this company and he's doing well too, I think I suggest to you people, that's the children of the demise, that let's allow this woman's husband take over from me since I can no longer work the way I used to. So now, her problem is this the family wants my husband that's her husband to take over the company but 
she doesn't have a child. She does not have a child. They've been married for over 10 or 11 years thereabout without a child. Now, they are, her own family is asking her husband to come and take over the company. Now, this is her fear. Her own husband has a child with another woman, a son with another woman. So her fear is that if her husband takes over the company, if her husband takes over the company, now, is there no possibility that the husband will hand over the company to the son who is not her biological son? So she's about making a decision. The question here is, should she allow the family to allow the husband take over the company or she should go ahead and say no and then let the family know that this young boy is not my son and I am not ready to let the company go to my husband. So if you are just joining us, you may have to rewind, you know, to hear what the story is about and please she's waiting to hear your opinion if you are in his in her shoe would you allow your family to give to allow your husband who you don't have a child for who already has a child with another woman outside who has a son and there's every tendency that she would you know she would end up not having a child till the man gives all oh, whatever but for me i really don't know what to say at this point so i need you to um to please give us your opinions she's online she uh, she's reading so please if you were in her shoes what will you do hey, i greet you monachi so oh god bless you sis Pastor Valentine, God bless you. Oh, why is your network bad? Oh, so sorry, so sorry. All right, well, thank you. It's coming in already. Um, Oye says, the decision of who to take over lies with the family of the demise. Yes, the family, the family, um, the family of the lady, of the woman in question now, wants the the man that's her own husband to take over but the issue here is the husband in question has a child with another woman and you know what it is there's every tendency that when the man grows old he might will the company or whatever so i've given you the story she's um she's reading and she's um taking your opinions from you why is she taking this person out there are other people involved oh okay okay she's reading all right now the second picture the second issue here is remember last week i told i mean this week uh, past monday i told us i said um there are some things you know uh, that is pointing to us making the men look wicked now i didn't say it all because my husband is not wicked my husband is not wicked right yeah my husband is not wicked so um but with this story I can only conclude that some men are wicked. Now, a woman, a good woman, from my own side of view, um, suddenly got to discover that the husband who she has been with for over 10 years is loving another woman. In fact, has done what we call court or traditional, no, traditional marriage. The man left the woman at home, went to do traditional marriage with another woman. And officially to him, 
he has two wives. But the woman still says, I'm the only wife. Now, her question is this. The man comes home to sleep once in a while. And when he comes home, he demands for sex. Ah. What should this woman do? So the man goes out. He can stay one week with the other woman. And he will show up the following week to see the other woman. And when he comes, the man wants to eat. And the man wants to have sex with her. If you are in a position, what will you do? Would you recommend that she walks out of the marriage? Which for me, it's a no. But should she continue to service the man? Should she continue to do what she has to do as a wife? These two women are reading. They are listening. What would you do? What would you have them do? What would you advise them to do? Please drop your comments. If you're on Instagram and you want to say something, please just um, ask me to invite you. Okay, I'm seeing some invites. Ask me to invite you. And um, okay, let me go. Let me go with um, Olaju Moke. I'm adding you now. Um, so if you want, if you want to say some, please, I'm reading, I'm seeing all of your comments, but the truth is they are reading, they are reading, they are reading. I have a, quite a number of, um, issues I want to let out this afternoon. I have a very limited time, you know? So, um, if, if you, if you really have one or two things that, um, <laughs> that's funny. He says now two wife system, they, they practice. Okay. Now. From last week, I'm from, why do I keep saying last week? From Monday's um, edition, um, there were some fallout questions. <laughs> and I want us to treat these questions together. Okay. Um, Emmanuel Audu, the company belongs to the family. The man can operate as a staff, um, but, not, but not as an owner. Okay. Don't hand over the company. I mean, don't transfer ownership. And he has nothing to give to the other child, period. Wow. 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 I agree, oh. <clears throat> I agree. Oh, he says, as a woman of God, what is the place of God in polygamy? <laughs> hey, polygamy. Yeah. Who wants to share? Who wants to share what is sweet with another? No, tell me, what kind of question is that? Polygamy. Kojome, there's no polygamy. It is one man and one wife. One man, one wife. One wife. That's what the Bible recommends. So, I don't know anything. Eh? Polygamy. Did you just say polygamy? No way. Polywork. No, no, no. All right. Um, ah, a lot to read at the same time. Ah. Okay, uh, Pastor Isaiah, God bless you, sir. He says, uh, okay, okay, okay. Um, all right, all right. Now, uh, I won't be able to read everything. Let me take other questions so that um, everyone who needs um, the response, they are all watching, they are all watching. All right, the first question is, should a guy be forced to marry a girl he impregnated? Should a guy be forced to marry a girl he impregnated? Okay, you say, yes, now the company belongs to the family. He can work as a normal staff to me. That's what I thought too. Okay. Okay, he can work as a normal staff. All right, thank you. Thank you, ma. Okay. Now, should a guy be forced to marry a girl he impregnated should a guy be forced to marry a girl 
he impregnated. Okay. She should not stress herself. Okay. All right. Hey, Jenny, welcome. Ibukolu, welcome. 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 All right. I'm still, I'm, I'm still, um, asking us, um, sorry. Okay. She should not stress herself since document is not involved in this issue. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Now I'm asking us, should a guy be forced to marry a girl he impregnated? The second question says, um, <laughs> now, this one says, um, some lady said, or uh, some lady says, a man that loves sex is not broken. <laughs> All right, uh, Blessing Gabriel says, no, no. No, should a guy be forced to marry a girl he impregnated? For what now? For what now? For what? For what? For what? A girl, why, why, for what reason should she marry um, um, a, a, a guy, a man, a girl he impregnated? For what? I don't see any reason why that should be, but I don't know. I don't know what you feel. Okay. And so, um, we're listening. <laughs> we're listening. Um, no, he shouldn't. Yes, he shouldn't. But you know what it is in this side of the country. Um, all right. It says you are making it look like the second lady is a side chick. It's not about who wants to share. She is a wife already. Wow. 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 This one is deep. Who? <laughs> you mean the second wife is already a wife? Wow. Wow. But she's not lawfully wedded. She's not lawfully wedded. Yes, she's not lawfully. Okay. Oluwa Kemi says, um, yes, so, um, wow. Wow. Anybody that can have fun with a woman to be ready for marriage. Should be ready for marriage. Hey. Ah, this is deep. <laughs> this is deep. This is deep. She's ready for marriage. Yeah, he should. He should be forced giddy girl <laughs> to marry the girl. There is a Yoruba word that says, "Ready to, koto, ready to koto, ready koto lo ready." Okay. <laughs> All right. The, the man had the son in his present marriage? No. No. If not, there be an understanding and documented agreement should be involved. By the grace of God, the woman will have her own child. Amen. 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 I, you people, <laughs> I did says why won't she why won't he marry her let him marry her ah this is deep sorry on uh, instagram sorry sorry network um is a bit bad i had to i am um, bring you back sorry about that wow so the other a man is a man not a boy is a man man should be able to decide what he wants and not to be forced i wonder why should he, he can't marry her because they are not wedded oh oh a traditional marriage was what is a traditional marriage a traditional marriage we can refund the uh, bride price now we can refund the bride price 
Yes, we can refund the bride price. Ah, we can refund it. Traditional rights are lawful. Eh, eh. You mean trad traditional rights are lawful? But from where I come from, oh, from where I come from, if you marry a lady, you marry a lady, and you and you begin to maltreat the lady, they will call you to come and take your bride price, as in the money you paid, and return their daughter. Me, I don't know how lawful, how lawful it, uh, traditional marriage is. I don't know. I don't know. But I know it is traditionally required that somebody, you know, a right is being done, that is a price being paid. But how lawful it is, I, re I need to go and study that. I, I am Dr. Lee and not Lawyer Lee. So I need to go and find out what that is. Um, okay. Traditional, okay. I'm not saying that two wives is good, but she's already inside. Now, mind you, she's not even inside. The, the man rented apartment. The man rented apartment, um, got apartment, or the man moved into her own apartment. Okay, not, not that the man got a house. The man moved into another apartment, right? So he goes to her, her um, house and spends one week thereabouts and then later comes um, comes to stay in the in the main building. So the other woman is in boys' quarter, but the main wife is at home. So what you call that house is in her own house, all right? Uh -huh. So let's refer her to the Bible. Yeah, she's she's been doing that, she's been doing that anyway. Um, it's something that we we, we still um, trust that um, she's reading and she'll be able to um, she'll be able to join. I mean, get what and what we are saying here. Welcome and uh, welcome. Sorry on Instagram. I'm very sorry. The network was bad. I had to, you know, um, come come back, go out of that and come back again. I'm very, very sorry. All right. Um, I don't really care. I don't want me. I greet you, ma'am. You're welcome. Traditional marriage is the most recognized marriage in Africa. Others are borrowed. Bor oh, really? Really? So traditional marriage gives us liberty to marry another wife another wife another wife right is there anything like that is there anything like that okay all right so i hear you it says the man decides where home is okay okay <laughs> i like that i like that so it's not about what i call home but the man decides where home is wow wow this is not funny any longer wow wow so what we call home is something else, and what the man calls home is something else. Okay, okay. Now, every almost everybody says, okay, some says the guy should marry the girl. Some say no. Dr. Lee, not Lawyer Lee. Yeah, Dr. Lee, not Lawyer Lee. All right. Now, um, Ruth says, yes, traditional wedding is lawful. It's one of the recognized form of wedding. All right, I agree, I agree with you all. I agree, but what I'm asking is, is it proper? Does the law also say that after having one traditional uh, marriage with another woman, you can go ahead and have another traditional marriage? Is that what we're saying? Please, lawyers in the house, you can air your 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 your, your opinion too. Is that what we're saying? That you are married, you traditionally married to somebody, and you have the all you have the right to go and marry another. I pay another is that what you're saying because i really don't i really don't understand i really don't understand okay ma that one is um different they can return bride price same way they can divorce wow it doesn't give liberty wow wow it doesn't give liberty ah oh, wow so the same way they refund bride price is the same way okay right oh he says i'm a psychologist and a counselor fantastic 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 so what we are I, I, what i'm saying here is simple are we saying that after someone has paid a bride price on a woman he can go ahead and pay another one is that what you people are saying i really want to get it because i'm confused here 
Is that what you're saying? That he can go ahead and pay another bride price on another woman. All right. Now, this is a Christian. This is a born again. This is a born again brother. <clears throat> he says, excuse me, a born again brother. Hey, Pastor Bolabido, God bless you, sir. Thank you for joining, sir. Thank you for joining. Now, this is a born again brother, right? And he's saying that when he requests for sex from the wife, the wife says, go away. You are not broken. Hmm. The wife tells him, honey, stop. You ask for sex every time. You are not broken. Is that right? What was that comment from? So because the brother is born again. So. Ah. Okay. Um, no, it's wrong. One traditional marriage for for a Christian. That's what I think also. The law only condemns more than one court marriage. Wow. Wow. So that means the woman has the right to go to court. <laughs> mm. God bless you. God bless you. She's saying, she's saying, because the husband because the husband asks for sex always and i tried asking how often do you ask? and is even maybe like twice a week or or once in like two weeks or maybe it's even every day what's the big deal and the wife says go away you are not broken i don't know what that what that statement means you are not broken please um just go ahead keep typing your what you feel what your opinion is what um what you would have what you would have you say to these people because i don't see what you are not broken just because of sex ah is he asking for a aeroplane or is he asking for a whole beauty i don't know now Another person says, <laughs> this one is funny. I will take it last. He says, how do you, hey, hmm. Some of these questions are, if we're heavy, <laughs> don't worry. I'll come back to some of them. Now, this person says, how do you endure a virgin, a wife, a virgin, and the husband is doing everything possible to disvirgin her, but she keeps shouting, it's paining me, oh, it's paining me, oh, you are wicked, oh, it's paining me, oh. The man is asking, what again do I do? What again do I do? What again do I do? Please, I beg you. They are listening, no? they are watching. No? Please, just give me, just drop your comments, what you feel about this. Okay, Oye says, have you asked what made the man take another wife? Okay, but is there any reason? No, 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 no. Wait, 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 just calm down. Wait, is there any reason? Is there any reason? Is there anything a woman would do that will make the woman that will make the man leave that marriage, walk out of the marriage, not even walking out of the marriage, go somewhere else and marry and marry another woman? No, tell me. What, what could she have done with three children? No, four children. What could she have done? Or five children. What could she have done? Or even one child. What could she have done? That will make you just go marry and... You didn't even marry and leave. You will marry, you stay one week, stay two weeks, and then you will come back. How about... 
Okay, a lot of more cases. Let them seek medical help if he has done everything possible. Now, a lot of more from from the from what I heard, it is not anything medical, right? It is not anything medical. I call it fear of the unknown. She being a virgin. And they got into the room. And maybe she saw the rod of Moses. And she began to wonder. Rod of Moses, why are you like this? You want to kill me? And she refused. And she said, hey, keep your rod of Moses. I'm not ready. Don't disparage me yet. So it's not, even if they go to medical uh, practitioner, you know, and ask, and I'm sure that's why they came back to Dr. Lee. Yeah, that's why they came back to Dr. Lee. If you ask me, <laughs> let me not, let me not say, I, I hear what you uh, people have to, okay. Um, no big deal in a man asking for sex always. Also, me, oh, that's what I don't, I don't understand. Um, that's number one thing that make a marriage. Oh, if you deny the man and he goes elsewhere, then the woman share out of the body. I, my thoughts. The man should persist more on the foreplay and the time her libido responds, she will be the one to ask him to come in. Hmm. That's it. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. So it's simple. A virgin, right? Yeah, right. Fantastic. Fantastic. She's done well. She's done well. Keeping her virginity to marry. Fantastic. That's something very scarce nowadays. Okay? Fantastic. Now, you the man, you also need you also need to um to perhaps speak to me privately. There are some lessons I need to give to you. You know, so that there are just little, little things that you need to do. And before you know it, you will see that your rod of Moses has been, you know, has been placed on the Red Sea and you will part it. <laughs> you know, you will just see that you just place the rod of Moses on the Red Sea and mm, it will part. So uh, we may have to... Um, you know, I, in connection with every, what everybody is saying, we, I may have to speak to you one on one and I'll tell you one or two things that you need to do to pass the Red Sea. Okay. Ah, all right. Wally, you want me to? Okay. Okay. Let me, let me. Oh, sorry. I missed that. Sorry. I missed that. Okay. Oluwato uh, Biloba Prince, I welcome you. Thank you so much. Okay, like I was saying, there is no big deal. Ah, a lot of people says sex is not is not easy. Oh. <laughs> what is difficult in open and close? What is difficult? What is difficult in open and close? Okay, now a man says it's not every woman that can endure frequent sex. Wow. Not every man that can endure frequent sex, not every woman I mean, can endure frequent sex. You know, one thing I know, and I'm going to speak to you as Dr. Lee here. Okay, she says everyday sex. You see, most of these things they are just thin of the mind, right? The thing of the mind. And one of the things that I, I usually say to women, you see, when you have a husband that loves sex, okay it's like a child craving for chocolate or craving for biscuits or craving for one thing you know what you do suffocate that child with that chocolate suffocate that child with that biscuit the same way i said to women suffocate that man with sex he will he will be running don't tell him i told you don't tell him i told you but you find any man who loves sex, don't worry. It's because you are doing a one day or one day off. No, 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 no. When you find any of them, I'm sure the men, they are listening to me. When he shows up, just say, honey, please come and do your job. 
He shows up, honey, please, I want to have sex. The third day, honey, John now, come now. <laughs> the fourth day, <laughs> he comes again and he says he wants sex. And you say, honey, please come. By the time you give it to him, like three times a day, four times a day, he will be the one telling you, Madam, did you take tablet? Is there something wrong with you? Why are you why are you like this? Eh? Eh? Before you know it, <laughs> he will run away. <laughs> He will run away. He will run away. So if you find any man, and the same thing with a woman, because some of the women, their libidos could be high. So if you find any woman or any man who tells you, I love sex too much. I love to have sex. Don't worry. Just smile to him or her. I'm telling you, suffocate him. He will be the one. In fact, if you are not careful, he will call your mom and tell your mom, Mommy, hey, Jehovah, be your mommy. Uh -uh. You, will, you will see that he will be the one that will run. But really, I don't see any big deal, okay, with a man demanding for sex every day. There's no big deal. Ask for the grace. One beautiful thing that God did to this um, this thing is that um, the Red Sea, it does not carry, there's no meter. Nothing to show that, you know, it's gone um it has uh, produced uh, 50 children nothing nothing you know since we don't go about so the thing is if you have that kind of man please and uh, please and uh, like somebody said um i think i have an uh, article me said that in marriage is called making love please not having sex sex is a profession for some people anyway that's grammar um in marriage is called making love Men, there are times you don't make love. Please, when you when you are when you when you say making love, making love has a process. There is a process. Sometimes the men you don't go through the process. You just come and you just jump before you know it. You have surrendered. Please. So those type we we women we call it sex. You just had sex. But when you say making love, there is a process that you go that you go through, you know, in getting to that point. Communication is also lost in most marriages. I agree with you. I agree with you. Some people have said to me that some of the men, they just come and, uh, honey, oh, the honey is even good. You hear, uh, mommy, mommy Taiwo, mommy Taiwo. <laughs> mommy Taiwo, mommy Taiwo. Mommy Taiwo, mommy Taiwo. Before I know it, it begins to tickle you. What was that? Is that romance? And begins to tickle you, tickle you, tickle you, tickle you. Before you know it, it begins to remove your cloth, uh, remove your cloth. And before, and before you know it, it's already, it's already shaking. It's already shaking. Meanwhile, the woman wants a far play. The woman wants to, you know, uh, uh, touch those, uh, those conductions, touch, touch. Touch those places, you know, that will get her, you know, ready for the job. And you just come before you know it. You just say, uh, Mommy Taiwo, Mommy Taiwo. You just touch the body, tickle, tickle, tickle. When you feel it, tickle. The next day, you expect her to pull her clothes. The next day, you expect her to open her legs. And before you know it, you just jump on top of the ocean. Before you know it, you are out. You now say, ah, Mommy Taiwo, you are sweet too. You do not even care about how Mommy Taiwo felt. Right? So, what you just did, that was sex. We don't call that making love, okay? All right. Now, ah, my time is running. Oh, Okay, now, the other one says, what can a guy that has, um, now, this one, I call it um, looking for trouble. This one is just looking for trouble. He says, I have plenty, I have uh, several girlfriends that I love. Now, I am confused. I don't know who to pick from. Your confusion will last longer. How can you, how can you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven girlfriends? Are you, are you, are you Medrani? Eh? How can you, how can you have them? And you say you don't know which one to choose from. Ah, you have to pay me for consultation. No? Because if I tell you, you will just think uh, you are doing something good. You're not doing anything good, right? 
You're not doing anything nice. You cannot have seven girlfriends and you tell me you are confused. You don't know which one to pick from. Why would you be confused now? You have to be confused. You have to be confused. If you had two, it's a different thing. Uh, we can say, okay, uh, tumbon, 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 you know which one to pick. But this, you have seven. And you're asking Dr. Lee, which one should you pick from? Uh, please, you have to pay me for consultation before I answer that question. In your case, you need to be admitted. Uh, you, your case needs admission. I need to admit you so that I give you drip. If I give you drip, I give you injections, and then I will think of what tablet to give to you that will cure you. Because as it is now, you are confused. So that simply means that you are not feeling okay. All right. Now, this one says, my wife is very dirty. What can I do? Hey, my wife is very dirty. What can I do? Woman, how can you be dirty now? <laughs> Pastor Isaac said, why not, Mommy Lilia? <laughs> don't mind me. That was what came to my mouth, Jare. Don't mind me. Nothing personal. Eh? Since my wife is very dirty, what can I do? Ebe, madam, why are you dirty? Eh? My wife is very dirty. My my response to you is that um um <laughs> Pastor Isaiah says you should pick the seven. <laughs> Since you got yourself involved in them, pick all of them. <laughs> you become Solomon. <laughs> all right. My wife is very dirty. What can I do? Man, please, man, advise your brother. What should he do? His wife is very dirty. What should he do? Please help your brother out. His wife is very dirty. His wife is very dirty. The other one says, my husband womanizes a lot and is causing trouble in my home. Hey, my husband womanizes a lot and it's causing trouble in a home, in my home. Don't worry, um, I'll give you a 10 tablets to what you can do to keep the man home. Now, somebody says, what is Christian courtship? Christian courtship is a courtship that is without sex. Christian courtship is a courtship or a relationship that has nothing to do with sex. That's the difference. Christian courtship, worldly courtship. Worldly courtship, they can have sex, they can sleep in their houses, they can present themselves as, um, um, I don't know, as husband and wife, even without being married and all that. But a Christian courtship is a relationship that has nothing to do with sex. This one says, my home is boring. No form of activity except we go to church, office, and maybe wedding, burial ceremonies, and such likes. Wow. 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 Um, you see, once upon I used to live, you know, in this kind of um, environment where we just moved from church to the house, office, ministration. That's all. Nothing, nothing to, nothing to, you know, to enjoy. But you see, one day I got tired. I got tired. Got tired in the sense that, ah, ah, you mean we cannot create fun when there's no church? So what did I do? I, one day I just got up and I said, hey, honey, oh yeah, dress up. We are going, we are going out. So where? Anywhere. So. We, we go out, you know, yeah, we go out, we um, we could go to eateries, we could go to um, 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 Pizza Hut, um, sometimes we take the children, um, okay, so allow me read this, dirty wives, plenty, oh, wow, but you can change the situation by leading with a lot of examples, don't complain, just be doing the cleaning, and ask her in love to join you gradually. Hey, this one says I have to. It's okay, ma. I'm enjoying. Ah, uh, I have to answer my chairman. Please go and answer your chairman. Do the needful. Do the needful. I support you. Okay. Now, uh, Lord Mokese says she has to create something herself. Yes, it got to a point that I had to create it myself because 
I married a man who is a perfect gentleman. When I say perfect gentleman, who you can keep him indoor from morning till night. He, he might not move an inch, okay? But this is me. Ah, that's why the combination, you know, when God brings two together, there's one that is doing the high, 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 and there's one that is doing the low, low, low. So I am the on the other side. So I decided to create it. So I take my husband to beach. We go to beach. And, you know, sometimes, um, like I always say, it is not about the man spending the money. Nothing stops you, the woman. Nothing stops you taking your husband out and you pay the bills. Nothing stops you. Nothing. It's no big deal. I hear some people say, I cannot do it. My money is my money. Like we talked in the last episode, my money is my money, your money. No, there's nothing like that. Spend the money. Sometimes I feel good when I have to give my credit card, you know, when I have to even give my debit card to say, oh yeah, you know, there's money, just pay. You know, I just give the debit card out and, and I pay. There's no big deal. And you know, the amazing thing, the beautiful thing that happens is that the day my husband will give me money, it would be like times 10 of all the money that I have spent. So who is wiser? Like the Bible says, the, a wise woman builds his home, but the foolish one scatters it. Okay? So it's not anything um, to negotiate about. You have to create it. You have to create it. All right. I have um, about... Um, uh, about five minutes, about five, ten minutes to be out of this place. Um, you can please keep your keep your comments coming. Keep your comments coming. I want to, um, <laughs> okay, they want me to touch about um, my wife is very dirty. What can I do, right? Pastor Valentine has given us some, um, some, um, some opinions what the man should do. He says the man should keep, um, keep doing it. You see, sometimes eh, as a woman, there are some attitudes, there are some characters that we show, that we portray, that we display. Not that we do it knowingly. Not that we do it knowingly. But you see, sometimes also, we need you to remind us. We need you to bring our attention to it. We need you to bring our attention to it. And there's no there's no big deal. There is no big deal. If you say, honey, ah, this, I'll tell you, I had a, an issue sometime and, um, some people, somebody said to me that one of the things that cause, causes issue in their home is that the wife can wear one pant. I don't know how true this is, but if not that the man was saying it, I wouldn't have believed it. That the wife can wear one pant for two days. The, 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 the man, I mean the woman can use one bra for one week. Me as a woman, I'm already irritated. How can a woman wear one pants for two days? That's dead. But, sir, this is what I feel you should do. If, you, if, if it happens that this woman just likes to repeat pants, please watch out for her when she will remove her pants. So when she removes the pants, don't allow her to keep it. Take it, go and throw it inside a bucket filled with water. She will have no choice but to wash it. If you find out that she can repeat clothes two or three times, you know, men can do it. Men can wear clothes three times. That I'm sure some women, we don't even give, we don't even care because they don't sweat as much as the women will sweat. But for me, personally, why should you? Wear one, throw it inside the uh, washing machine. Uh, the, 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 the life, life is being made easy. Okay, so I, I, I advise, pick the pants that is causing the issue, throw it in the bucket of water, pick the bra, put it in the bucket of water. Let me see whether she will go and take the pants from the bucket and wear it again like that the next day. Now, she doesn't like, she likes to keep um, plates till the following day. You see, in that case, I will speak for her. A woman has a lot to do in the house. The job of a woman is multitasking. So you'll find her doing all of this. 
she could get tired now. She could be tired. Men, help out. Thank God my husband is watching. My husband, I have the most fantastic guy as a husband. Whichever one I cannot do, he helps me out. In fact, in fact, no matter your millions, I won't trade my husband for anything. He's always there to help out. The woman gets, the, see, we are, we are designed like that. We are so, we are so engrossed with a lot of things. The man has just this headache of what will the family eat? What will the family, or what will, what will this, where will the school fees come from? But you see the woman, the woman is caring about the man. The woman is caring about the children. The woman is thinking about the family as large. The woman has a lot to do. She's also working. She's doing a lot. Now that she finishes and you want her to go and wash plate, that's no big deal now. You can wash it now. If it's just you and the children at home, if you don't have help mates, I mean, I mean help at home, then you could just do it. It's still love. It's still part of the love. It can be tiring. Okay, Tim uh, Tokwe says, Dr. Lee, maybe, maybe she does not have enough pants. He should buy for her. It's not a big deal. Yes. Yes, she might not have enough pants. For crying out loud stock up the house with with three dozens of pants that's three dozen 36. make sure those pants are beautiful make sure the pants are sexy make sure the pants are something that she would like and the man should help by buying okay buy the pants buy the bra stock up the house with bra and pants okay one pant works for about six to eight hours at most some women don't know how to keep themselves clean so teach female cleanliness okay all right that's what we are talking about um um we just have to but what i'm saying is you discover that the woman just likes to please just go ahead stock up the house with pants by the time she sees several pants she will change them she will change them pants is even so cheap as a man hello let me do marketing for you uh, Dr. Lee also owns Lily Rose stores where we sell quality pants and bra. So if you are shy to go and buy pants and bra for her, don't worry. Talk to Dr. Lee. I will supply you the pants. I will do home delivery. So that shouldn't be an issue at all, at all. Okay. Now, I have, let me use this remaining time that I have. I want to speak. I want to give you 10 tablets. Dr. Lee's 10 tablets. Dr. Lee's 10 tablets. Now, how can you make me as a helper cuckoo? Wow, wow. God bless you, sir. God bless you. You see, somehow, I love men. I love men that help out. Now, uh, uh, okay, he says he, he cooks for the wife. He, he makes Amala. Wow, he makes Amala. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Women, we value men that helps. We value, as in, I just told you now, no amount of your millions can make me leave my husband because you can't do what he does for me. My husband is so fantastic. My husband is the best guy for me. I think he's the only, he's the best man existing because he does what normally a man, the men won't do. So you just have to be help, just help, help out. It can be tiring. It can be so tiring. The women, we do a lot of things at the same time. So it's, it's no big deal if you find a part. What stops you? What stops you from saying, honey, you know what? You just face the kitchen. Let me, let me wash the clothes that is inside the washing machine. What's the big deal? No, tell me what's the big deal. What's the big deal? Can you, can you carry baby for nine months? Can you? Can you even push? You cannot now. So the women do a lot of things. I'm not, not, not that I'm Dr. Lee is standing here speaking for uh, speaking for women. No, but because I have this case and the man is really is really so angered that the woman is so dirty and the woman is so lazy. She blah 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 blah. No, don't think she's no woman. See, the truth is no woman is lazy. No man is lazy. No man is lazy. No woman is lazy. You only know when somebody is lazy. When you give a, a woman or you give a man a task and the man cannot deliver or the woman cannot deliver a simple task, then you can say, okay, this one is lazy. All right, it says again, if your wife is worn out, you won't like what people will say outside concerning your marriage. I'm telling you, God bless you. You see how beautiful I'm looking now? Yes. I don't need you to tell me I'm beautiful. You see how beautiful I'm looking. Do you know why I'm looking this beautiful? It's because I have a man 
who will not suffocate me with stress. It's because I have a man who will help me. It can be tiring. I, I feel good. In fact, my husband feels good when we go out and he, we see some guys, you know, turning their head, you know, saying, who is this fine girl? We feel very good. You know what it means? That I'm still looking cool. I'm still looking cool. That's A. You know, so if the guys out there can be wondering, who is this pretty girl? Not that I'm wearing anything exposed or whatever, but they are wondering, who is this cute babe? Who is this pretty girl? And my husband is feeling cool. That tells you I'm still good to go. So please don't let the woman wonder because at the end of the day, it will still fall back on you. Now, a woman asks me, um, my home is boring and blah, 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 blah. So I want to give you 10 tablets. 10 tablets. The men, I will come to you in the next episode. But let me speak to the women. How you can make, how you can make your, your home, as in make your home a fun place to be. 10 tablets. I want to give you 10 tablets. <coughs> Excuse me. As regards um, making your husband come home. Okay, that's the question. It says, my husband does not like to come home. Even in this time of uh, lockdown, he's always looking for where to go. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Uh, all he says he disagrees that um, it is wrong to say no woman is lazy. Now, like that, women these days are off the hook. Anyway, I don't, I don't know about that. Most of the women that I see. No, no, you are not getting me. What I said is, if you don't give a woman a task, then you cannot say she's lazy. You don't, you don't keep a woman in the house, and and you you quantify her being lazy by washing plates and washing clothes. That's not the definition. That's not it. That's not it. I I I I don't agree. Honestly, I don't agree. Okay, he said it's good for husbands to do all these things, but some women are too lazy. Ah, the men are saying the women are lazy, that they order the man around. You can imagine a wife telling the husband, Mr. Man, carry that plate. Eh? <laughs> carry that plate and wash them. How does that sound? Women need to be educated not to take their husband for granted. That is that is not that is not true. And that is unacceptable. That is very unacceptable. How can a woman say, tell the husband, go and wash plates? Who, who does that? Who does that? Go and carry the plate. Who does that? Who does that? No, 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 no. No. Okay. It says women carry more things on them than men. They have a kind of mental strength, emotional strength, and so on. I agree with you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. That's, that's the point where I'm coming from. That's the point where I'm coming from, okay? I, I, I know I cannot say 100% women are not lazy, no. But I'm saying that you cannot conclude on a woman who you have not given a task and you say the woman is lazy. You can't conclude. You can't conclude on her. Okay, let me quickly take um, 10 tablets as regards making the man come home. Making the man come home. Now, if I'm wrong, men, please, you can drop your comment if I'm wrong. Um, in this uh, tablet I'm giving the women, one of them have asked me, what, what can I do to make my husband always, you know, try to come, always wanting to come home. Now, these 10 tablets are not the 10. So meaning there are more, but I'll just give you 10 tablets. All right. The first one is that make the house a home. Make the house a home. Some of us, we don't have a home. We just occupy a house. Please, madam, make the house a home. If you want your husband to come back to you, to come back home always, please make that house a home. A place where he has no fear. Somebody told me one time that the reason why he hates coming home early is because, is, is because whenever he gets home, the first thing that the wife tells him is, Honey, the children pampas are finished. Who does that? Hey, who does that? So the man prefers going to one eatery or one parlor, beer parlor to sit down, 
he doesn't drink, but he gets malt and a soft drink. He orders for pepper soup and he stays there till about 11 p.m. at night when he can go home and nobody will ask him to go and buy pampas. So please, women, make the home a place where there is no fear. The man has no fear to return to you. Then number two is that circulate that house, as in saturate the house with plenty of love. Saturate that house, that home I mean, with plenty of love. Saturate that home with plenty of love. Make sure there is love everywhere. That is from the kitchen to the bedroom. Make sure there is love, you know, make sure there is love going on, you know, in that home. Okay. Make sure there is love going on in that home. Then number three, be positive. Be positive. Number three, be positive. You want your husband to come home to be with you. Be positive. Okay. Olubumi. Can you hear me? Hello? Can you hear me, Olubumi? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Okay, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome to Love Clinic. Welcome to Love Clinic with Dr. Lee. Okay, you want to tell us something? Okay, okay. All right. Um, number three, be positive, be positive, be positive, be positive. Please, women, be positive. Men wants to come home and meet a positive woman. See, I must say to you, the men go through a lot out there. The men go through a lot from the secretaries, from the colleagues, from, from the woman that is by the, by, the, by the market. They go through a lot. So the only thing they want to come home to do is to meet a wife that comes to say, honey, sure you had a good day. Don't worry, all will be well. We will get over this time. We will be fine and all that. That's what a man wants. We may just be positive. So be positive, be positive. That's what the man wants. Now, the fourth point is be the storyteller be the storyteller i am fantastic in giving i am never short of stories me i am never short of stories my husband can bear witness so when the man comes home by the time i give you from one story to another story to another story to another story he, he will not i'm sure he will not even think of anywhere to go right so you must be willing you know okay to have something to bring something up that will keep the man you know keep the man locked down keep the man locked down i pity some men who says this lockdown hasn't been so so fun for them and i wonder eh we were enjoying ourselves lockdown or no lockdown nothing to us so make sure you are the storyteller have always have a gist for your husband have a gist for your partner see there are times when the man will remember the um the gist that you have not concluded it might just be the reason why he's running home to meet you so that you can conclude the story. That number number five, yeah, number five. Look beautiful. Look beautiful. Ah, Pastor Ramos, so thank you for joining, sir. You're welcome, sir. Look beautiful. Look beautiful. Look romantic as ever. Look romantic. And I hear, yes, I agree that wives, we are, we are, we 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 step into the shoes of uh, a mother to our husband mind you you are not his mother except if you are like my husband who does not have a mother anymore okay so i'm not doing dual i'm doing the wife office of the wife i'm doing the office of the mother but if your husband still has a mother please can you allow the mother be the mother you be the wife stop looking like a mother at home hmm? you will not tie your wrapper tied by the chest and you will not be walking up and down the house eh? like, like a grandmother. No, now. So, please, look attractive. Look beautiful. Look romantic. I'm not saying you have to wear a bumper shop to look romantic. Just look good. Make sure your hair is neat. 
See, the hair, God has given it to us as a glory. So, make your hair beautiful. You don't have to wear very bogus hair or you have necessarily have to fix your hair or whatever. No, I'm not saying there's anything, but I do them too. But just look beautiful. Even if you have your, your hair cut, just make sure that hair cut is beautiful. Just look beautiful for him. I tell you, he will run back to you and, I mean, to meet you at home. Then the other one is look clean. You heard the men say it, that some women are dirty. Wow. You know, look clean. Use deodorant. Smell beautiful. Smell beautiful. Sometimes in this lockdown, you will see me. I will dress up, dress cute. You know, I'll use my perfume. I will do some little makeup. And I'm likely, you know, looking so dapping, looking so dashing. And my husband will ask me, where are you going to? <laughs> and I will say, nowhere. <laughs> I will say, nowhere. But what am I doing? I'm looking good. I'm looking good. So when he looks me twice, he looks looks at me twice. I know the meaning of that eyes. I get the message. Yeah, right. I get the message. So please look beautiful. Look clean. Use deodorant. Use deodorant. Smell well. Smell nice. Smell nice. Okay. Smell nice. Now this eighth point. Be that chick to your husband. Be that chick to your husband. Some of you saying that your husband uh, is having a relationship out there. Your husband is keeping one thing. Like my brother was saying that, um, what could it be? What could it be, you know, that would make a man look out? Honestly, be that side chick. When I say, be that chick. I mean, be that chick at home. <laughs> hey, you know what? One day, Take time, I mean as a woman, take time. Call a, a, a tapping girl, a beautiful girl that is not married. Just ask ask her, what do you think married men are looking for in young girls? Let them give you some, some good vital information. You will understand what I'm saying. So look good. Men are moved by what they see. Men are moved by what they see. So make sure... You look clean. Your legs are clean. Eh? Your hands are clean. Your skin. Get, you don't have to bleach. Get cream that will soften your skin. It's no sin. Just look good. Look good. Be that chick at home. I tell you, hey, when your husband remembers the chick at home, no amount of chick will stop him by the road that will make him stop. Why? Because there is a hot chick at home. Now, the ninth point is be a problem solver. Be a problem solver. Be a problem solver. Men get tired of women that the only thing you know to do is to demand for money. Men get frustrated. Men get irritated. Men just don't like it. A woman... Please get something doing. Women, get something doing. Get something doing. I see no reason why you should ask your husband for money for part. Are you all right? I see no reason why you should ask your money, your husband money for uh, for what now? For kerosene? For gas? No now. Be a problem solver. Not, not just sit at home and say gas has finished. You will now off the fire. I mean, you, you, you push the gas cylinder somewhere and you keep the half, half done soap. You keep it there and say until your gas comes back. That's when you will buy gas. Hey, who does that? No. Get something doing so that you also could be a problem solver. Men love to have problem solvers as wives. That's what they want. Men don't want the people who just demand and demand. They want a problem solver. So if a problem solver... Your husband will never have a fear of coming back home because he knows that when he comes home, but before he even asks anything, you might have solved the whole problem at home. So whatever he comes back with, he just gives them to you as, as a plus for your pocket money. So be a problem solver. The last one is make sure you make yourself relevant and available that your husband don't want you to go. You must be relevant. 
when I say relevant, you must be relevant. I'm saying it again here. There is no big deal. There is no big deal. If you are, you have to pay your house rent 1.5 million and you, you decide to share, you know, to say, honey, I will give you 500,000 while you pay 1 million. There's no big deal. There's no big deal in it. There's no big deal in you saying, honey, you know what? They maintain, they can maintain us for, for, for this month. I will pay. There's no big deal. But these are little, little things, you know, that makes the husband wants to come home. When your husband knows that there is a problem solver at home, he is not running. Why is he running away? Why is he running away? So your husband, your husband will just want to come home. And lastly, this is just the jara. I've given you 10 tablets, but this is just the plus. Please make your husband want to come home by just giving him sex. I've had, I've, I've received a lot. It means saying men should leave women alone. They will not leave us alone. They will not leave us alone. It is not error that God made sex. God made, made it. It is not an error. No. Any woman who is not willing to give attention to the husband, any woman who will not satisfy the husband sexually, please don't come complaining that your husband is sleeping out. Don't, don't even bother God. Say you are praying that God bring my husband. God will not even answer such prayer because you are the problem. You created the problem and the solution of that problem is in your hands. It has left heaven long time ago. So the problems that the solution to that problem is in your hands. So God, we don't go, don't go spiritual. Don't go fasting for, for hundred days. You are wasting your time and energy. Don't go asking for one pastor to pray for you. Both of you are wasting your energies. Why? Because God had already given you the answer. He's living with you long time ago. So he will not answer that kind of prayer. All you need to do is to submit yourself. Just allow, satisfy your husband sexually. He will stay at home. He will stay at home. All right? I please, I beg you. I beg you. I beg you. Stay, do all of this, and your husband will stay at home. It's so wonderful. It's so beautiful uh, spending this time with you. I want to believe that um, we've learned one or two things and we have helped uh, one or two persons out in their questions. Please feel free to send in your questions. Dr. Lee <laughs> will, one way or the other, attend to that question. If I can't talk to you uh, privately, I will bring those questions out here. We'll, 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 we'll bring them out. We'll share them out so that we can get opinions and get people's uh, views from it. Um, I want to say a big thank you. Thank you so much, everyone. I can see you all. Danesi, Tope, Mommy Vera, Ladi, Ifoma, Victoria, Titina, Taiwo, Blessed Ada. Thank you so much. Chineye, Elijah, Eminence, Ifejua, Fisayomi. I see you all. Olubumi, Sanusi, I am Peter. A blessed Fisayo, I see you all. Wow, for like and thank you all so much for joining joining me in this wonderful episode. I look forward to seeing us again on Monday. I'll be here on Monday. I'm not able to take most of the. I have too many questions to treat, but I'm not able to take them all. So when I see you on Monday, we will come back to those questions. And please bring your questions. Let your questions come in, and I trust that by the time I hear from you again. It will be good testimonies. It will be blessing all over. Thank you so much. God bless you. Dr. Lee loves you. Signing out. <laughs>